of flicks and we're back to watch some more Veronica Mars. We are watching episode 17 today and that is called Cain's and Abel's which makes me really excited that it's really going to be heavily based on Lily Kane's case and like Abel Koontz and the whole daughter thing being paid off and the dying and I'm like oh I'm excited. <laughs> Sorry if that didn't make any sense then but I think you've all got the gist of what I mean. <laughs> so last episode I literally just finished watching it. Um, as I said in the last one I want to try and finish as much as I can and hopefully finish the season tonight um but liked that you know we found out some more about her mum and all that stuff and a bit more information about uh, jake and celeste alibis making him look a little sus especially celeste i think but still jake as well like yeah i don't know <laughs> i think it's just there to kind of put some more doubt in our minds um and figuring out what variants or whatever his name is from uh kane's company has to do with it all apart from just taking photos I think maybe Celeste has done it and he's like, or maybe she got him to do it for her. I don't know. We'll see. I can't think of any motive right now apart from that she was an embarrassment to her, but whatever. <laughs> we'll find out, I'm sure. I'm hoping we see Logan again this episode and I'm hoping that it is very much based on the Lily Kane case. Um, almost to the point where I don't really want her to be investigating another side story kind of thing like b plot i really just want it all on this one but we'll see i don't know if i'll get that but that's just what i can hope for so without further ado i think we'll just get into it i'm looking for amelia de um i'm sorry she left about five minutes ago with some friend of hers oh uh -huh, she got there first tiny blonde mom said that was an out-of-court settlement it's nope. not a settlement it's a payoff for pleading guilty to the murder of lily kane your father is innocent oh it's Ramping up! <laughs> Veronica? This might go very wrong. Have you... Have you seen him? him? Yep. You know, in prison. How is he? Looks alright. But if you Considering know that, all? it's doubtful he'll help me. He's doing fine. She really needs to tell Keith. This is gonna go south. It could go south so quickly. I'm nervous about it. Today marks the beginning of that orgy of tension known as midterms. Some handle it better than others. She clearly isn't handling it at all. Yes, that's my face that you see on a phone sex ad. Uh, I was getting phone calls for this all night long. Not fair. Of course, well, this Serena. is gonna be we'll find a time for the you case. To the I heard this was kind of like your office. You your <laughs> Thank you, Lily. You Someone's pointed that way. out. I hear that you do things. I need <laughs> you to make him stop. Okay. Gee, I'd love to help Sabrina. What mm. is it with the Mars family? God, Veronica, and you really believe Lily's murder was some sort of vast conspiracy? File on Duncan. And me, probably. It was a file on everyone. Yeah, and I'm glad my alibi held up. Out of the country, two eyewitnesses, it's airtight. Okay, so it's not Logan. And what do you think Lily would make of you investigating all the people who loved her? I loved Lily. Look, I just came to give you I don't this. think she'll take it. Well, she might if she needs money, but I don't think she'll feel good about it. Mom was always nice to me. Hmm. There you go, she rips it. Hopefully he'll keep talking to her. I think it's his way of saying, you know, that he's sorry. Probably. But not the full truth. He wants to make sure she's well off. Who the hell's that? <laughs> Following her. And whose house are we at? <laughs> yes, this is Miss Sabrina. Bad boy, Mr. Greeley of Encinitas. 20 grand on credit cards, <laughs> two divorce. You have been a bad boy. <laughs> Put your pants back on and get a job. What's with this car? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Truman. She warned you about it. Maybe it's not me. Oh, I'm is innocent. he trying to lurk and yes, make sure someone else isn't doing it? She needs to tell Keith. Sultans of acid yield. You'll find that straying husband. Oh, just the other PR guy. Chase Skinny blonde. I'm kidding, of course. They'll chase anything, but seriously, don't dye that hair. That's no disgusting. No hair advice for me, Vinny. <laughs> Two hours at the Kane Estate with the top five ranking juniors and seniors trying not to this get be interesting, as they talk though. about the scholarship they're offering in Lily's name. Who is she seeing? Oh, they're fighting. That's no way to treat your stepdaughter. I think Duncan might have already slipped Veronica a bit too oh, much. Oh, this is just what she's thinking what ha have happened. And what Here if we Lily go. finally succeeded at getting her parents' attention? But then Weevil would be there and saw it, so that doesn't make any sense. 
I don't know if that's true. <laughs> that's a little weird, that one. Veronica. Well, that's not good. That she's having a bit of a hallucination. Is Jake going to come out and see her by the pool? Oh, Duncan came out. I come here sometimes too. To think now about she's going to see Duncan's. First, I begged my parents to sell the house. I lost it. The top GPA, the valedictorian spot. Wait, who's in first place now? Him. Hamilton Cho? There you go. Found your suspect. Sabrina. Uh, the teenage witch. <laughs> you don't like her. Do you? You know how many breaks she's had? She got AP credit for a school-sponsored trip to Rome. Her mom is the school board president. It's not like you're I mean, helping. How can I compete with that? The motive. I work funny. Is it just gonna be Veronica trying to get her key in? My name is Amelia DeLongpre. You came to a little old PI like me? Hmm. I'm flattered. No. I'm 250 a day. No, Keith. <laughs> now she has to tell You're him. done here then? And he knows it's Veronica too. He's gonna be pissed! <laughs> Clarence Weedman. He's the head of security for Kane Software. She knows. And for an hour after he left, I sat here wondering, what did I stumble on that has them so rattled that they'd send over their top guy? I wasn't sure what it was, but I was proud. <laughs> Clearly, I was making them nervous. Then it occurred to me. <laughs> it was I didn't stumble daughter. on anything. I'm not scaring the Canes. My 17-year-old daughter Okay, is. so she's 17. I know who he is. He's looking for Abel Coombs' daughter. <laughs> and you know where Amelia is. Um, yep. <laughs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is what you're doing? Yes. I'm protecting her so that the Canes can't get to her and cover up the money but trail. But you should have told well, who's him. Who's going to protect you, Veronica? You should have told Understand him. Understand me. That family will do anything to make that evidence go away. That girl must really love her old man if she's trading three million bucks for three months of his life. She doesn't know that. You know about Abel's... Stomach cancer, new game, new rules. Yes, team up. So when Jake's alibi went all to pieces and I started to question the coroner's time of death... The core body temperature just didn't match the rest of the timeline. No. Which you think Jake called Clarence Weedman after he discovered Lily's body? To do what? Make it go away? Whatever needed to be done. Clarence. I need your help. Mr. Kane, listen to me. I need you to go to the trunk and get the rest of it. Well, maybe that was the intention, but... Duncan came. I don't know. We'll see. Well, it can't be Hamilton. He's been at shows all night. I can't take this anymore. Are you gonna help me or what? Oh my god, shut yeah. up. Mmm, more Logan. I'd like to know when you plan on telling Duncan and everyone how I'm psycho. You know, something's been bothering me. About Duncan having whatever he has, that weird kind of epilepsy. Are you sure? He didn't even know. Ooh, we have a Dutch tail. I've known since kindergarten. Why didn't he ever mention it to me? Does that mean he has, like, fits or something? Sometimes. Possibly. Maybe. Other times, the attacks might manifest themselves as lined rage. Any of that sound familiar to The you? rage does, by looks of it. I'm only telling you, okay? Ooh, he trusts her now. I love Last it. Last year, when uh, I found him on the floor, he had his hands around his dad's throat. Shit. And I tried to pull him off. And all of a sudden, he went limp, and he was dunking again. I tried talking to Duncan the next day at school, but he acted like he didn't remember a thing. Probably might not, though, right? Now the theory is, what if he had one of these fits and um, killed Lily instead? You know, that's would kind of explain why. Or well, just seeing your sister dead also would explain the catatonic state he was in when Veronica was over at their place. But if he actually did it, it leads more to that as well. Either that or your ex-wife really hates academic achievers. My ex-wife, Brenda? No. You have a little something on your face. Did you? I'm just gonna rip it off. <laughs> Friday, I'm watching you. They see your every mm -hmm. move. Knew it. Yeah, Veronica Moss. Watching your every move, baby. You're in a grown-ass hey, man doing that to two Moss. underage girls. What? What? Oops. The Thin Mints. The badge. Vinny, did you get the... What are you doing? I know who did it. My son never had a fair chance. 
I didn't give him the same advantages as the kids so the he dad did it? With. We are willing to split the scholarship this year. They're not going to be happy about that. I mean, if that's acceptable to the two of you. No. Exactly. The honor of valedictorian belongs to my daughter. This young man will remove himself from the valedictorian race. And we won't press charges. Hey, no, nah, I'll do it. Hamilton, this is ridiculous. They can't force you to do this. They just did. Hello? Veronica. Hey, Amelia. The papers came. Oh, thank God. I I'll be right by to make copies. Oh, it's my boyfriend. See you soon. Sorry! Don't hang up. My name is Clarence Weedman. The woman you're dealing with isn't who she mm -hmm. says she is. Good work, honey. That's good. But she's gonna split by the time we get there. Why would you believe, like, a voice on the phone over someone who's actually... She just finalized her father's settlement with Kane Software. Oh, she's gonna be so pissed. He's in now too. Change the combination of this, Lena. When the call came in that Lily had been found, I was the first one at the scene. What did you see? That's when I found. I'm thinking maybe it's Duncan now. Oh. I don't know. I'm just gonna let it tell me. I'm sick of guessing. Where was Duncan at that moment? He was. He was showering. Here. Need us home, but he hadn't gone out to the pool. What's that? They looked. You doing some laundry? Oh, the washing. Kane's had two full time housekeepers. Washing the frickin'. Well, I guess they what? hadn't done their own laundry in a very long time, so give me one good reason why they would start a load of laundry the night they found their daughter bludgeoned to death. It was a soccer uniform I found in the dryer. Blocking my son. Hmm. I just don't know what to believe anymore. Hmm. I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking with the revelation of Duncan's health. I'm not sure if that's how epilepsy works though, but I, I don't know. But it's possible, I guess. Or it's something else, but... It's kind of pushing it in the direction that could be Duncan. And this episode very heavily did that, especially with um, Logan's little story about a year ago, how he was like trying to strangle his father and, and then he just went limp and he was fine after that and he didn't remember. Maybe it was Duncan. Yes, it's very sus, very, very sus that they were doing laundry so late. And they said that Duncan was in the shower, so they probably popped him in the shower after taking off the jersey. But it's possible that he just went out there and found her and then like picked her up and had blood all over his shirt, so then they washed it. I mean, it's not necessarily that he killed her, it's just what they kind of want us to believe somewhat at the moment. Definitely is trying to make us think though that Duncan is the killer at this point. And as I was saying in the reaction, that's probably why, you know, another reason why he was so strongly in that catatonic, he was, you know, rocking himself backwards and forwards. So it'll be very interesting to see. But yeah, there's really not much to say about this episode apart from the ending and wondering who did it and freaking Cla Clarence and Amelia and Bastard. <laughs> so I'll just finish this one here and, um,. Just go straight into the next one and see if we get any more information. I love the fact now, though, that Keith is actually talking to her about the case um, and telling her what he found and he's not trying to protect her anymore because, you know, clearly that didn't work and she's <laughs> doing it anyway. I like the fact that Logan doesn't seem to be telling anyone about the files and I really like that he's like being so nice to Veronica now when I hope that, you know, they continue to talk and things um, and actually become quite friendly and thing and everything like it seems they are. And I'm sure it will. And yeah, I think I'll just leave that one here and start the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the series. And also, uh, you can just check out my other content while you're there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.